Mountain Station on Space to Ground. Welcome to Space to Ground, your weekly look at what's happening on board the International Space Station. I'm Amiko Cowder. The Atlantic hurricane season is underway, and the ISS is always keeping an eye on the storms below. Earth observations from the 250-mile vantage point followed Tropical Storm Bill this week. In this photo from astronaut Scott Kelly, meteorologists noted the development of rip currents along Galveston Island, 30 miles south of Mission Control Houston. Kelly also captured these images as the storm approached landfall along the Texas Gulf Coast on Tuesday. The Expedition 44 crew is also keeping an eye on their ocular health. Crew members use some of the same equipment you'd see in an eye exam here on Earth to look at the interior of each other's eyes and to check intraocular pressure. Scientists are exploring how microgravity affects astronauts' vision and the eye's physiology. Understanding structural changes in astronauts' eyes could benefit patients suffering from diseases like glaucoma and high blood pressure in the brain. This week's Twitter question asks if it's comfortable sleeping in microgravity. Well, that all depends on which astronaut you ask, but we do know one who enjoyed snoozing in space. Before his return to Earth last week, astronaut Terry Wirtz tweeted that sleeping in weightlessness is absolutely wonderful and it's something he's going to miss. And we certainly wish him well as he adjusts to sleeping back down here on Earth. Make sure to keep sending us your questions and comments using the hashtag space to ground We'll see you next week.